right, Austin, thanks. This morning, a Shreveport family is demanding answers after their son's near drowning at a lake, Lake Darbon, with friends. And joining me this morning is the family, Christopher Gilbert's mom, along with the family attorney, one of the attorneys, Claudia Payne. Thank you so much for joining me. So let's talk about Chris. Uh, what happened? When did you get the call? I got the call possibly around um, 8 on April 14th on a Sunday. Um, a friend of his called, and she was hysterical crying on the phone. She told me that um, Chris had fell into the lake and he had been underwater for 20 minutes or so. And I was like, 20 minutes? Why was he under the water for 20 minutes was my first reaction. And she was just like, oh my gosh, she just kept crying hysterically. And I was like, where is it? He's being airlifted to Shreveport. Mm. Um, you know, we immediately started calling around, trying to find out where would he be, where would he go? And they informed me that the only trauma unit they have is Ashner. So we got to Ashner. They didn't have a call coming in saying, that, you know, um, a plane was about to land. But eventually, about 20 or 30 minutes or so, they got the call saying that he was on the way. He was 10 minutes out. It's like he, they got the call like right before they landed. And um, initially, when my son got there, <clears throat> the doctor called us in and told me that at that time that um, he was brain dead pretty much. And the rest of his organs were starting to fail and that we had 72 hours on um, the ECMO machine. ECMO is like um, sort of like dialysis mm -hmm. for the lungs mm -hmm. and they had to put him on a ventilator. Wow, and so I'm gonna bring in one of your family attorneys, Claudia Payne, working along Lee Merritt. That's great. Uh, and you guys have learned more. Tell us yes. what you learned. Did he fall into the lake? Was he pushed into the lake? So initially, as the mother reported, we initially thought that he fell in in the lake. That was what the friend group um, uh, initially reported to officers. Soon after, and I, I guess after more investigation, they soon found out that he was actually pushed by a female within that fan group, friend group. She actually admitted to mom, as well as the police officers, that she pushed him into the lake. Was this horseplay or was it mad or? Well, uh, in, in, in the legal field, we characterize things the way we see fit. So, of mm -hmm. course, they are saying uh, horseplay. We are saying that it was a criminal intentional push into the lake. Mm -hmm. And why didn't anybody go in after him? W well, now we've seen a video where one of the friend, one of the friends in this group okay. attempted to go into the water briefly, um, but they were neither one of the individuals, a part of that friend group, were the ones to retrieve him from the actual water. Okay, uh, we have video of uh, Lake Darbon, and shortly after he went in, uh, can we share that video, please? Uh, tell me what's going on here, Claudia. Okay. This is actually uh, Oshner LSU. We took this video this morning because this currently is where Chris is at this time. That's correct. correct. Yes, He's within their care. Okay. Um, this is a more recent uh, photo of Chris. This is approximately three days, uh, three days ago. Mm -hmm. His uh, condition or his status is doesn't necessarily get better, but it does change. It's different. Um, the 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 amount of work that the machines are doing on okay. his behalf is constant. Uh, he's, his, his lungs are said to be at 20%, so he doesn't really, status doesn't really get better, it's just different. Is he responding? He is cognitive, he is responding okay. mentally. He cannot vocalize anything currently, okay. uh, but he, he he's able to give a thumbs up and a nod of the head right now. Okay, now those were the pictures that show some promise, but right. let's look at the pictures when you first saw Chris at uh, Oshner LSU. Uh, Yolanda, uh, these are not actually, these are the after pictures. Uh, what was your going through your mind when you first saw him? Because he was just lying there with a bunch of tubes. Um, which when I first saw yes. him, I was devastated. Like I felt as though my life had ended in a moment. Like my son is, is aspiring to be a, a medical doctor. My son is, you know, going to be a medical doctor. He, he has a master's his, degree. He has. A, he got his master's last year wow. in biological science, mm -hmm. and he's preparing for medical school. So for this to happen to him, um, it just. My son is like so sweet, this mm -hmm. most selfless being you'll ever meet. And for that to happen to him, like I was just devastated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, wh what is it that you are fighting for now? I want uh, the young lady who pushed my son, who admitted to me in the family uh, waiting area that night at the hospital, because their friend group came to the hospital, still telling me the same fabricated story that 
he fell, I learned at that moment in the ER, the sheriff called me and he told me, are you familiar with what happened? Yeah, he was at the lake and he fell. He was like, no. Um, one of the young ladies pushed him and I'm like, who pushed him? And I started looking around the room, which one of y'all pushed him? Mm -hmm. You know, the young lady, like I did. And I was like, why would you push my son in the lake knowing he couldn't swim? Um, she said, well ma'am, I didn't know that man couldn't swim. And I was like, who is that man? This is supposed to be amongst groups of friends, mm -hmm. right? Who is that man? Chris, everybody knows he can't swim. Mm -hmm. You know, he jokes about him not being able to swim. Um, even when we went to the restaurant, the owner of the restaurant even stated, everybody knows Chris can't swim. He's mm -hmm. been coming here for two years. He always joking about it. I gotta have on a life jacket, mm -hmm. you know, cause they would go, they say he would come there and go canoeing sometime and he will always have on a life mm -hmm. jacket. So everybody knows if you look at some of the posts, you can see anybody that know him from elementary to middle school, Chris can't swim. Who actually pulled him from the water? Was it the restaurant worker? No, it was actually uh, another patron of the restaurant, Dawson Faust, uh, who was, was a complete stranger to the family and the community prior to this, but now he's their uh, hero, you know, and no, I mean, he, he deserves the honor. Yeah, so Claudia Lee is actually flying into town. What's he next is. for you all today? So uh, his legal team, Chris's legal team consists of myself and Lee Merritt of Lee Merritt and Associates from Dallas. We have a dual interest, first to seek justice by demanding that an arrest is made, but also to hold the restaurant bar owner uh, responsible for not uh, keeping Chris safe while he would patronize their business. All right, anything else you wanna add? We'll be following this story. Um, I just want to thank everybody for the prayers and the concerns. Um, thank you. Please keep the prayers coming. Um, he is recovering. Um, it's still a long journey, um, but I see progress. We see progress. Mm -hmm. And I thank you all for the love and the prayers. Thank you. Yeah. The, the, the latest pictures are promising. Thank you. Very. <laughs>